In this video, we're going to graph piecewise defined functions. They give you a function with three different function and domain values. The first thing I would do is write one, two, and three out to the left of the function so that I can say that this is the first row. So this domain goes with the negative x function. This domain goes with the x plus two function. And this domain goes with the negative 1 half x plus 3 function. And then I'm going to write down 1, 2, and 3. And I'm going to plug in values for 1, 2, and 3. E, or, sorry, one, uh, the first function, the second function, and the third function. So I'm going to pick two points, basically, for each of these. And that should be enough. I'm going to pick the end point of our domain and then one other point that's in the domain. So I'll start with f of negative 5. And then I'll do f of negative 3. This one, they'll both be closed dots. So I'm going to write closed and closed. And the reason that negative 3 is closed is because negative 3 is less than or equal to negative 3. So it's in the domain of the top function. I'm going to come to the middle function. I'm going to plug negative 3 into that one as well. But this one will be open because negative 3 is not greater than negative 3. So it's not between negative 3 and 0. So I'm just going to write that as open. And then I'm going to plug in another number. Well, I'll probably plug in 0. That makes sense. And that would actually be a closed dot because that's the end piece of our domain for the middle function. And it's equal to 0. And then I'm going to plug in 0 here, which because 0 greater than 0, if you plug 0 in there, 0 greater than 0. No, it's not. So that's going to be an open. And then I'm going to plug in, I don't know, let's plug in 6. And that would be closed dot at that spot. So now I'm going to go through and evaluate each of these. If I plug in negative 5 to the top function, I get negative, negative 5 which is 5. So that coordinate is negative 5 comma 5. If I plug in negative 3, I get negative negative 3, which is 3. So I end up with negative 3, 3 for that coordinate. If I plug in negative 3 to the middle function, I get negative 3 plus 2, which is negative 1. So I get negative 3, negative 1. Then I'm going to plug in 0 to the middle function. So I get 0 plus 2, which is 2. So I have 0, 2 for that coordinate. And then I'm going to plug in 0 to the bottom function. So I get negative 1 half times 0 plus 3. And that equals 3. So I get... 0 comma 3 and now I'm going to plug in 6 so negative 1 half times 6 plus 3 this will be negative 3 this will be positive 3 so I'll get 0 here and so I end up with 6 comma 0 for that piece now I'm going to draw the graph And I'm going to start marking the points. And I've got them already marked open and closed, so I should be able to graph this pretty easy. So negative 5, well, let's go negative 3, 3 first. Put a closed dot there. That's this piece. We'll go negative 5, 5. Put a closed dot there. And then that means this line is going this direction because x less than or equal to negative 3, so it's going to continue 
toward negative infinity. And then we're going to plug in 0, 2. 0, 2 is a closed dot. So 0, 2, closed dot. Negative 3, negative 1. Negative 3, negative 1 is an open dot. And this is also linear, so it's a straight line to that spot. Then I'm going to plug in 6, 0. And 0, 3. So let's start with 0, 3 first. So 0, 3 is an open dot. So one, two, three, open dot here. And then six, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six is a closed dot. And that's gonna go toward infinity. So this line is gonna go this direction. And so that's how you graph piecewise defined functions.